Hi everyone, it's Wealth Warden back again with another episode of Stocks for Us. Let's dive into the stock market update. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell reiterated Tuesday that inflation is falling more slowly than expected and will keep the central bank on hold for an extended period. We did not expect this to be a smooth road, but these inflation readings were higher than I think anybody expected, Powell said. What that has told us is that we'll need to be patient and let restrictive policy do its work. However, Powell also repeated that he does not expect the Fed to be raising rates. He reiterated Tuesday that inflation is falling more slowly than expected, likely keeping interest rates elevated for an extended period. The next CPI report, the April inflation figures are slated for release on May 15th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, let's delve into some technical analysis. First up, let's take a look at the SPY chart. As you can see, it's currently hovering near its previous all-time high. The dollar 524 level poses a formidable resistance, and if breached, it could pave the way for a clear upward trajectory towards a new all-time high. However, it's crucial to keep an eye on tomorrow's CPI data. There's a possibility of a double top pattern forming here, which could potentially lead to a sharp decline, perhaps towards the dollar 495 level initially, and then possibly down to around dollar 475. Okay. In the last episode, I shared an Apple chart with you and recommended buying around $165, anticipating some good news in the earnings report. And it happened. After the earnings, it soared and currently, it is trading around $187. If that double bottom scenario occurs, then the target of this uptrend could be around $220. But this is not expected to happen in the short term. Okay, next is Tesla. As you can see in this chart, after it bounced from the $140 level, it reached $200. Then, it corrected to the $170 level, which I could consider a pullback to the broken trend line and filled one of the gaps. Now, it could return to the $186 area. If it manages to pass this level, then the next target could be $205. And the subsequent target could be the top of this channel, which is around $220. Now let me give you another idea about the solar ETF TN. As you can see, there is a triangle pattern formed here. In the weekly chart, it seems to have broken from the top of this triangle. However, we need to wait for confirmation. If it can stay above this broken level, the next resistance is $46, and then $54 could be the next level. And the next target could be $63. Now it's time to review the cryptocurrency market. Here is the Bitcoin chart. If you've been following our channel, you might have seen our video in April discussing the Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin reached the $58,000 level much sooner than I expected, but it's still following the expected trajectory. We may see some fluctuations until it reaches the $53,000 area. If it aligns with my analysis, then it could bounce from that level and continue its upward trajectory to higher levels. Okay, everyone, that wraps up today's update. Until the next video, wishing you all the best of luck. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.